I think the first game when I came against Brentford was probably one of the, the one you know outstanding moments for me because you know coming to the club and having to fill Don Goodman's boots and virtually nobody had heard of me in West Brom so you know to come on where they've you know and especially blue and white shirt in the Brummy Road end and score a goal to uh, you know my debut that, that that was great and obviously the signing off was Crystal Palace in front of the Brummy Road end again getting that goal in the blue and white shirt. Get on. You'd have to say when we got promotion against Oldham. For the other one would be beating Man United 5-3 away and that team that day we were absolutely fantastic but for the club how great it was to get back in the uh, first division because we were part of the players that took it down and to be in the history that we were relegated it was fantastic to bring it back up again and that day I will say the West Brom supporters we went to Oldham it was like playing at home we were the supporters that day were fantastic. The Oldham game in the seventies when we uh, we had to win at Oldham to get back into the big time, you know, and uh, what we did we went up there we won one nil and unfortunately I got I got the goal it had gone back to my birthplace as well which was a little bit different and uh, that gave me the greatest delight because I'd been a part of the, the team that had took us down and we were all disappointed and down, downcast at that time but you know to, to get us back up there uh, it was a great achievement that season because we, ne- we were next to the bottom of the league at Christmas time and things weren't going well but we had a fantastic run and then we just finished it off with that fantastic game at Oldham and I'll never forget the fans that day, they were the, the Albion fans were unbelievable. They're out in the thaw. I've never seen so many Albion fans at one game. You know, a league, a, a league uh, game, uh, and they got behind us. And I remember, I remember in the dressing room before we went out, the lads saying, "Look, we can't let these down today." And we went out and did the business, and we were back in the big time. And that's where this club should be all the time. It was a tight game, you know. Obviously, your goal, as you say, settled it. D- did anything go through your mind as that ball fell to you, or did you just? It, it was it instinct by that point to yeah. just hit it. No, you've just said it, Chris. It was instinct. Uh, I mean, I remember Ali, Ali um, it's Paddy Mulligan crossed the ball from the from the right wing into the box, and and Ali Brown got up about above everybody, and 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 they did it down to me, and it was it come to me and. I was in an awkward position and I couldn't hit it first time so I just cushioned it up with my right foot into the air and then when it dropped I hit it with my left which was not not, not my best you know and uh, fortunately I just caught it perfect and it, and it flew into the net and then it was just after that it was just a little bit uh, worrying after that you know because we didn't want to get, give a goal away then because um, a draw wouldn't have been enough and it was a little bit scary at the end they had a couple of a couple of chances, but we survived, and uh, and you know, that's history now.